You ready? Let's do it. Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a frontline cop at the Mount Wellington Police Station, and this is Ride Along. Well, everybody, today is another day of impounding forbidden drivers' vehicles. Um, unfortunately, uh, some people have been given Apple opportunity to get a license and they have failed to do so repeatedly. Um, the person who drove uh, this vehicle today was actually forbidden by my colleague uh, about a year and two days ago. You'd think 12 months would be a sufficient time to uh, study for the learner license test. Unfortunately, this person's chosen not to do that. As a result, the vehicle gets taken for 28 days uh, and they get another opportunity, they get 28 more days to get their learner license before uh, they're taken to court for the offence. Good spotting, mate. Thank you. Good spotting. I made this series because I wanted to show you the reality of frontline policing. And I guess one thing that I haven't shown as much of is this, paperwork. Me sitting at my desk, hacking on a keyboard, spending more time pressing backspace than any other key and then editing that out. And I don't show you because it isn't the most engaging content. I mean, no one really wants to watch this. People wanna watch me going to jobs. They wanna watch the interactions on the street. That's the stuff that's really exciting. That's really unique about policing. Typing at a keyboard doesn't feel unique, but it is really important work. And it can be crazy exciting when you know what's going on. The biggest question we get about paperwork is how much am I gonna do? And for some people it's a real hang up. It's hard to say how much you'll do. Some jobs require a line, other jobs require you know, a page or two. Um, some jobs require you know, whole files and, and sometimes folders, depending on the complexity of the task or the complexity of the crime and, and naturally the complexity of the investigation that follows. But paperwork should be something you're really proud to do. It's certainly something that I'm really proud to do now. Uh, search warrants, production orders, really detailed statements, you know, they can make and break cases and there's nothing more satisfying than getting a positive result at court for your victim and for the public because that is part of our job. It's not just attending things with lights and sirens, it's investigating and prosecuting criminal offences. What's her name? Charmaine. Comms on her. Go ahead. We've just stopped the um, female from EGI's job. Crossroads. Roger. Good work. I'll phone to you. Unarguably, one of the most stressful things about the older police cars um, is they don't have cup holders. Uh, and when you when your office is a car and, and you're tired and you need a caffeinated beverage, not having cup holders is stressful. Because then if something happens, you end up <laughs> you end up sliding them into the door card where there's these pseudo drink bottle slot things. And it just it's messy. requires some cleaning afterwards. It's messy. Man, I've ditched so many coffees because I've been in the car that has no, yeah. no cup holders. Because my favourite car has no cup holders. Combs, could you attend for a description of this, ma'am? Uh, the male is uh, married, 32 years, chubby <coughs> build, short dark hair, cream coloured hat, white t shirt, grey track pants, son. Copy, and is he still out heading towards the victim? He was last seen on towards <coughs> We've also copied Ambos into the job. Uh, copy, you put us 10 7 area. Well, everybody, 
um, that concludes that concludes night shifts. That's it. That's it. That's it. For now. For now, yeah. Mm. It also yep. concludes wearing a blue uniform for a while. Ooh. We don't wear blue. You wear a blue Saba. Yeah, but... You could just wear blue, by choice. I'll just wear blue shirts and blue pants. Blue polo shirts. we get some blue, blue chinos. Blue chinos or blue cargo yeah. pants. I'm going to have to make like a... See, all my chinos are AS color chinos, because like, why buy anything else? But the pockets are really inconvenient with the Saba. Uh. They're like these pockets, which are just like absolutely ridiculous to get to. So like, the zip pockets are your only hope. In this next bit, you might be wondering about the uniform. I'm not wearing one. In fact, I'm not wearing one now. And that's because I've moved to the Tactical Crime Unit. It's a unit that focuses on dishonesty offences, so vehicle crime and burglary. And we take in cases from frontline officers when offenders haven't been caught on the night or on the day, and we work them until we can close them. And hopefully that closure means someone's been arrested and charged. It is really exciting work. So before I go for today, here is a little bit of what we do. Uh, well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to um, another another cold, semi-winter morning in Auckland. Uh, I think it's cold. Um, although people are making fun of me for saying that it's cold this morning. It's sad. Um, but they didn't ride a motorbike to work, so I'll claim it. Uh, this morning we're executing a search warrant with our friends at the CIB at Glen Innes. Um, we're looking for some people and some property uh, relating to an aggravated robbery. So uh, it's a pretty serious case. So it's nice to um, nice to be able to execute a warrant and, and hopefully pick up our offenders and some exhibits and um, all the things they're looking for. Warrants are a big part of the tactical crime unit. Uh, mostly we're focusing on um, what we call dishonesty offences, uh, so burglary and, and vehicle crime. And um, a lot of the uh, the investigation involves around the items that are stolen um, and tracking them and, and obviously tracking the people who are dealing with those items. Um, dealing with stolen items is a really serious offence and the sentences can be as heavy as um, if you've committed the actual burglary yourself. Uh, so if you're buying something on Facebook and the deal is a little too good to be true, it probably is. It probably is. Uh, don't buy stolen property because you enable people um, who, you know, break into people's houses and steal their stuff, which sucks. Think about how you'd feel if someone stole your stuff, I guess, is what I'm saying the next time you buy a, a, a super cheap something from Facebook. But we're all parked up, waiting to go. Um, it's probably one of my favourite things. Just all stacked up, mm. ready to go and do something as a team. Mm, well, that was um, reasonably successful. Both people we wanted to locate were located. Um, we also located what we think is um, the remainder of the victim's property um, and uh, likely some of the clothing used in the offence as well. So that's um, not even the police have noticed us. We're, we're so low key. Um, so that's a pretty good uh, positive result from that search warrant for us. And now uh, myself and uh, James are heading deeper into South Auckland to um, conduct a few inquiries of our own, having uh, having conducted CIB's inquiries with them this morning. And that is me for Ride Along. That's right. For more than a year now, I've been working on this series. And I feel like I have completed what I set out to do when I pitched this over a year ago. I hope that you've got a good look at what the job is like. I hope that I've changed your opinion about what we do day to day. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to passing on to other officers so they can show you their days and their jobs. Because there are a ton of jobs in the police. Frontline policing is just the, uh, the razor's edge, if you will. Before I go, let me simply say thank you. Thanks if you've been watching from the beginning. Thanks if you've just picked up the series. Now, there are a ton of episodes to go back to. But a big thank you to the people who've engaged in the comments because that is the whole reason I wanted to do this in the first place. I hope I've answered your questions. If I haven't, put them down in the comment section on this video and I'll, I'll do my best to get to everyone. Not only will Ride Along be back, it will be back with new faces, which I myself am really excited for. New faces, new jobs, new cars, new places. So definitely stay tuned, make sure you stay subscribed. And I am not totally disappearing. 
head over to the Auckland Police Instagram. I pop up there from time to time and I've got a few ideas for things in the future. Until next time, see you later.